Hello Iron fans, we're here in Fort Worth, Texas, entering Miss Kenya C, the lead singer for band Ions featuring Kenya C. How you doing today, Miss Crawford? I'm fine, babe. How are you? Good, good. Just want to talk about uh, your career, some of the things you've been doing over the years or so. So I just want to ask you a few questions about how's everything going. So how's your last year or so been going with you? The last year has been quiet. <laughs> We're in a, a different situation uh, in our country with the pandemic, mm -hmm. and it's forced Ions featuring Kenya C to be uh, available digitally, okay. as opposed to being in person. Um, it it can be a little challenging because we've had some growth also within the year because it, it has allowed us to be able to perform without an audience. Right. And um, if you've ever been in front of a camera without a, a live audience, mm -hmm. which that's the way we are all of the time, mm -hmm. it can be a little difficult. You have to keep your own energy up. You have to, you can't feed off of the crowd. You have to make sure that you have a natural high, right? Uh, and and then your band members feed off of that too. So this year has been different because of the situation that we're in in our country, because we rely so much on um, small businesses, and uh, and in our case, black businesses to continue to uh, to book us in different venues and things of that nature, and then people who just want to have private parties mm -hmm. in their homes or in other venues. With the venues being closed, we haven't really been able to, to really, really operate at 100%. I'll say we're at about eh, 45%. It's not bad, but it's not good either. Right. So it's it's been different this year. Well, with that answer on last week, we had a uh well, you had a live concert recording for a new DVD that's gonna be coming out this year. Yes. So why don't you tell us a little bit about that? So we uh, were honored to be a part of the City of DeSoto's Jazz Weekend. They um, have a, a virtual concert for their citizens every fourth Saturday, mm -hmm. every fourth Friday. And uh, we got a chance to be in front of the audience, the digital audience, for about an hour and uh, really entertain and really have a good time. And uh, no costume changes, that's the other thing. Right, right. <laughs> no costume changes. I have a COVID uniform and <laughs> we stick to that. So, but we were a part of that uh, event along with another group and uh, it was just really fun, really fun. This is your second, your second live concert you've done. Is there any difference between the first one uh, in Irving and the one here in DeSoto other than it being virtual? Well, the difference is um, uh, about 95% less hair. <laughs> that is. <laughs> uh, another difference, visual. I had to wear all black. I didn't wear all white. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, not really a difference other than the audience mm -hmm. was not present. Um, it's still fun, it's still good music, it's still soul music, it's still R&B music. Mm -hmm. So it was really good. Now, uh, you had the first one and it was distributed and people were purchasing, now you have a second one. Do you expect any different with the second one versus the, the, uh, the first one? I expect uh, fans of IONS to begin to collect Okay. what we do. Mm -hmm. um, it definitely does mark different times in history as far as our growth mm -hmm. is concerned, as far as as um, our experience is concerned, as far as um, the the amount of of what we have to pretend with right. versus the reality. Right. I keep mentioning that because that's that's just a really big component mm -hmm. of what we what we're having to do and what we're all learning about ourselves. All of the local artists who are performing and having opportunities to do digital work. Mm -hmm. It's it's different. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. is different. And mm -hmm. there no start there's no starting and no stopping. That's what else was different mm -hmm. about this one. It's a it's a flat one hour, there are no outtakes, there are no 
There no, there's no stopping, there's no editing outside of what the camera's doing. That's it, it's one take, that's it. And that, that also builds us too. Now, you have something that's been in the works for about seven or eight months. You have a new single coming out. Do I? Yes. Why don't Who told you? told you that? Well, <laughs> it, the manager told me. <laughs> so, why don't you explain a little about, you know, this new single you got coming out, the writer, the uh, producer, and, you know, what do you feel? What do you want these people to know? And here, t tell your fans. So, this time around, I'm not doing as much writing as I did before. I'm taking a different approach where I just do a little bit here and there, unless the spirit hits me, let me just say that. Okay. Uh, I'm taking a different approach where I'm uh, involved with a writing team that was already established. Um, uh, there are, there's one gentleman and three ladies, and we've come together to put music, well, to put lyrics to music that has been produced by Mr. Kevin Hicks out of Atlanta, Georgia. Kevin has an extensive resume and this is the very first time that I am actually in a professional realm. We've been in professional realms just because of the experience that I have in the studio. It's not the, my first rodeo, but this time I'm being directed by someone and we're, we're going back and forth about what sounded good, what didn't sound good. And he'll say, well, I see where you're trying to go with it. Let's see if we can fix it. And I don't have that, I don't have to rely so much on myself. I, I now get some direction and some, another creative to bounce off of with the writing and with the music. So that is growing me as well in this moment. I'm working very hard to to really take my time with it. In the past, you and I have done it. We've been on a very strict timeline. Not that we're not on a strict one now, <laughs> but um, the, the bottom line is studio time costs. Mr. Kevin Hicks, Hicks's time costs. Now he's gracious enough to give the tracks and um, so that we can create something together and work things on the back end. That's a new thing I'm learning, the back end. <laughs> so uh, in, uh, in doing that, I'm able to really um, plead with my manager. The, ma the manager. Yes, who is um, that gentleman? <laughs> some, some cat named Martha Crawford. Some cat named Martha Crawford, okay. So, <laughs> I pay him, I, I overpay him too. <laughs> I have the same name too. You do? <laughs> yes, I do. So, so um, it's, a, it's a different experience that you're going to hear this time. You're going to hear the growth. You're going to hear a different creative than just Kenya. The other times have been me making sure it's compartmentalized so that we can get the best amount of time. The thing about it is the music's already done. Right. We don't have to worry about that. It's the interpretation of the lyrics, and that can be a little, a little hard, because sometimes you just don't, you believe in the lyrics, and then you get start singing them, and it's like, ugh, this, this is just so boring. But I have right. to remember that it's somebody's thought. It wasn't boring to them. And uh, Johnny Gill said it best. He didn't like the song um, Boys to Men when he joined New Edition. And that's the best song on the album because Johnny said, I'm going to sing the shit out of it, even mm. if I don't like it. So that's what I take. With being in Covert, explain to the people out there how it was written. It's done a little bit unusual. So yeah, this song was a, is a pandemic song. <laughs> Everybody's got one. <laughs> Except we do it in the um, in the uh, the idea of it's just not healthy to be confined in your home. And I'm missing you. I'm missing your touch. I'm missing talking to you. I'm missing I'm missing hearing your voice outside of a phone line. I'm missing seeing you with my own eyes, mm -hmm. not with 
digital eyes, that's kind of deep too. Darth Vader <laughs> told Luke that, let me see you with my own eyes, not these digital ones that are in this mask. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's kind of deep, it's kind of deep. So what's the name of this track? Do you know the name of it? <laughs> I think it's called You I Wanna. <laughs> you I Wanna. Yeah. Hmm. Did you have anybody, any, anybody in mind with, uh, with uh, Kevin or any of the writers? No, they're... this one was written mostly by the writers. Okay. And most of them are single. They, there's nobody there mm -hmm. with them. Mm -hmm. and, and I had to imagine what it was like, mm -hmm. what it would be like to not have uh, my husband who happens to have the same name as you and right. the manager. Right, right. Um, <laughs> and and how it would be without my, my kids. Mm -hmm. I don't know that I would be able to maintain with uh, this in this pandemic without my family. Now, you have been, um, you have been recording, you've been big shows, small shows. Talk about your musicians a little bit and, and if they're in their names and <laughs> let people know who your musicians are and so forth because so, they're pretty talented. So I have a phenomenal core band. We have people come in and out occasionally, but um, my core band members are uh, Denarius Mims, D. Mims. Denarius has been with us from the beginning and I don't want to say how old he was. He was sneaking at the club. <laughs> <laughs> He's on keys, and he has turned into an exemplary musician. Uh, Matt Curtis, Matt Curtis has been with us uh, about eight years, and Matt is a wonderful bassist. He is in the pocket. He he spreads his wings when he needs to, but you don't notice because he's so smooth. And um, my drummer is none other, none other than the award-winning gold record having <laughs> Mr. Aaron Henry. Aaron um, is a favorite of Fort Worth. He um, is steeped in, uh, in music. His family, he comes from a musical family. His father played with a number of artists all over and um, I'm very honored, very blessed to have those three gentlemen. Well, can you thank you? I greatly appreciate it. But before we depart here, I want to have a little fun, okay? Do you mind? What kind of fun you <laughs> <laughs> That's the inside joke, y'all. Yeah. But here we go. Uh, sports teams. So you select one of the two teams that I mentioned. The Dallas Cowboys. Or Dallas the... Cowboys. You don't need to mention the other one. Indianapolis Colts. No, Dallas Cowboys, America's team. Uh, Dallas Mavericks, Indiana Pacers. Dallas Mavericks. Uh, Jerry Jones, Jim Arce. Jerry Jones. The Hell Jones. <laughs> <laughs> now, you seem to be partial to Dallas, and I'm from you Indianapolis. You didn't ask about basketball. Let's Mark Cuban, or who's that other dude? Well, I just wanted to, okay. to, to talk about okay. Jerry Jones, because I know how we feel about him. Yes. And uh, Jim Irsay. Who is we? Uh, you and I. Do I know you? I'm Arthur, not the manager, the other guy. But, but then sometimes, who, I'm, but sometimes, thinks? sometimes I'm a manager too. Oh. Okay. So you get two and one. <laughs> okay. Thank you all here. Uh, we greatly appreciate uh, 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 you all listening in and enjoy this DVD that's going to be released here in the next uh, couple months or so. So, peace out.